So drawing characters and logos is a little hard at first when you're beginning to draw, but hopefully I can give you some tips and tricks and help you out. And that way you'll be able to draw some of these characters or logos for your notebook uh, for school. So number one trick in drawing any kind of character or logo or design is you have to make sure that when whatever you're using, a marker, a crayon, or a pencil, that your wrist and your hand is nice and loose. Wow, my pen just flew out of my hand. But you want to get a nice loose hand to sketch with. So while I'm getting my pen, why don't you guys do this and shake it out and be ready to draw? Okay, I got my pen back. And here I have my piece of paper. So let's start with a quick little exercise, okay? The first thing I want you to do is when you go to sketch, you wanna be able to move your hand quickly and loosely because that's gonna help you make shapes actually better than if you went like this and your hand was perfectly still and you tried to copy exactly. Don't do that. So for example, let me try, I think you can see, a little hard not to see you, but I'll do this, okay? I'm just gonna loosen up my hand, and I'm gonna draw kind of like the shape of an oval. And before I even start to draw, I can see the shape because my hand is moving super fast. And once I like it, press onto the paper and let the shape pop up, okay? Now it has a couple little lines going around, and that's perfect. So now, I'm going to go over here, and you guys are gonna see what I'm drawing very quickly, okay? So here I go, I'm starting to loosely plan it out in my mind. I'm letting my eyeball see the shape I want. And just do that, and look, do you see? I didn't finish it here, but that's okay. Keep moving, don't let it get to you. Now I'm gonna go over here, loose, 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 and map it in, okay? So. Now that I have the general shape, I'm gonna go back, loose hand, and I'm gonna start to, I'm gonna call this overlay. Overlay some of my lines, just so it doesn't look like an oval anymore. And you might be able to see who I'm doing. So I love that over here, this came out good. And if I want this to be a little lower, just keep, and notice what I'm doing. I'm also moving my paper. I find with drawing circles and stuff, move the paper so that way it's a little bit easier on your hand. Okay, see that? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start moving into this spot here. Actually, what I think what I'll do, I'm working upside down, so it's a little hard to see, but I'll go back to this. And now I'm gonna draw two small circles. Again, my hand is moving quick, Keep going over, one. Keep going over, two. A little dot. Do you guys see what I'm doing? That's just a hard line, that's easy, right? It's just lightly sketch. Don't worry about the exactness yet. See my hand moving back and forth? Putting a little rainbow in there. Do you see who I'm starting to sketch out? Is he looking familiar? And now, what you, oop. Loose, 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 sketch. Loose, 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 sketch. Are you starting to see my character? So now what I can do is I can start to go in, okay? and start adding some of the features that make the character recognizable. Meaning give it its character traits because that helps somebody see what the character is. Because as humans, we're used to identifying things based on how they look, right? So if I go in and I just start sketching, again, look how I'm coloring, real loose. I'm not going crazy here. And I happen to have some more colored pencils. And I think, let's see, I'll pull that out. There's a nice yellow. And I'm just kind of loosely coloring it in. 
All right, notice when I color, I follow one direction. I don't scribble all over, right? This helps me kind of go quickly. And my table's shaking as I'm drawing here. I'm sorry, but got to get that in, right? And then what's another recognizable color? Of course, red on this dude, right? So I'm going to map in that. Map in that. And obviously, you guys are probably better colorers than I am, right? And let's see, I need some red in here. And I think I'll take a darker red and go over that. Because that's further back in his mouth, right? So I have to show a little shadow. And I'll put some lighter red there. And I think now what I'll do is I'll go back into those cute little eyes and darken them in. And then, once I have it sketched out, I'm going to take a black Sharpie and I am going to outline all my lines and make them nice and sharp. Okay, so now that you're getting the hang of it, let's try something else. I'm gonna move you down here and let's try another character. So the first thing I'm gonna do is loosen up my wrist and I'm gonna start with a circle in the center. Again, don't draw it yet. Just kind of move your hand until you see a perfect circle forming and then lightly drop your pencil. And look at that, you'll get a really nice circle. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to go to this side here and I'm gonna put in an oval and put in an oval. And inside, I'm gonna start adding some more details. Again, these are the character details, right? That kind of make it look more like the character. And let's see up here, I'm gonna just put in, again, look at my hand moving. Those are not perfect. Those eyebrows are not perfect, but they will be when I'm done. I'm not worried about the detail yet. So now, I'm gonna go off to the side. Any ideas who this one is? And now, again, character details. These are the things that start to make the character recognizable to someone else. And now underneath that, I'm just gonna put a little line. Just a little chin, just a little chin. So now let's bring the line, and look at my hand. It's moving like this. I'm not worried about where it's going yet. I'm just planting it in, just getting a mental image in my head. See that? And now, just put in some hair over here. Just like that. Again, look, my lines are just, they're just little indicators, right? Now I gotta put an arch across the top. Sometimes when you look at a picture, it helps you to break the picture down into shapes. So up here, these are all arches, I like to call them, like little rainbows. And just kind of count the, the, um, the arches and then you'll get the general shape. Now, here's another trick that a lot of kids try, don't do. If you're getting to the top of the paper, and your picture won't fit, it's better to let it go off the page than to try to squeeze it in. Don't squeeze it in. Okay, so now I'm just going in and I'm starting to add some recognizable things on this person's face and I think you know who he is. So look, see the suspenders run off the page on me here? Look at my hand moving with these circles. Any ideas who that is? I think you know who that is, right? So let's put some curves here for some shoulders. And let's hold it up and see how I did. Okay, pretty good. Okay, this time, let's say you want to do like a logo with writing. I have a little trick that helped me out when I was little and I will share it with you. So if I pan you down here, okay. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write out my logo, okay? I'm not gonna worry 
if it looks exactly like the um, the logo itself. Okay. The only thing I'm gonna do right now is just make sure that I'm writing pretty neatly and I'm writing upside down. So if I end up writing a letter upside down, you're gonna have to forgive me on that one. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm just writing my letters out again, loose, and I'm just sketching it out. I am not worried about the detail. But one thing you can do is if you wanted two lines like this, and you can fit your letters in, okay? So once I write it out, that gives me a little mental image of where everything's gonna go. Then, go back in, and I'm using a pen so you can see, and pretend the letters are a road and you have a car and you're driving around the line. Do you see what I did? So you go around the letter and that's how you get bubble letters. So you have to pretend you're driving a car and pretend that the lines are the road. But you can see by doing that, that helps me figure out where to put lines. Do you see that? Now, is it going to be exact? No. But if you draw it to look, it's sort of bubbled out because in this game, everything is a block. So what you can do is just take a look at the picture and where it's bubbled out, just go in and I'm looking at it over here so that way I don't make a mistake, right? But I love a Sharpie. A good Sharpie helps you really. And then just add darkness in between and underneath. And you can look at this in detail. Okay. So this would be like a detail like you would see on a face, except now you're doing it on letters, right? And then if you wanted, you can go back in and you can add some of those shapes that you see that usually go with this graphic, right? or this logo, and I'm not gonna continue, but I think you get the idea. So again, to make letters, if I can zoom in there, look at the letter N there, you see? I draw it out first, and then I pretend my hand is a car, and I go around the letters. Okay. So let's say you're doing the loose wrist trick and you're still having trouble. What you can do is, I think I have something here for you. Yes, if I move down, here's an old uh, pot that I have, a little flower pot. So if I'm really stuck, I can always find something to trace, right? So say this picture is gonna be round. And then once I have that, then I can go in and try to sketch out my design. And again, use the things that make it recognizable. So again, I'm gonna put in color. Go back in. Start adding those details now that I have it sketched. And this is about done. Look at that. With, with just using... Oh, you know what? It has another little... There you go. So, if you're having some trouble, use an object to help you trace. Okay, let's try another one. All right, so we talked about logos and we talked about some different characters, but what if you wanna draw something that maybe isn't a character, like maybe a dog or something, right? Well, I'm gonna use a Sharpie so you can see and I'm gonna pan you down. So the best thing you can always do as an artist is look at something, right? Look at how it looks in real life. Now, if you, look at something, you can break anything down into simple shapes. So if I move you down here, let me show you what I'm talking about. I happen to have a pug and I know some of you are looking to draw a little puggy at home. So let me give you some tips and tricks, okay? 
A dog's face, okay, is very easy to draw because, especially a pug, because it's all wrinkles. So I'm going to start with the eyes. Now, if I observe my dog, a pug's eyes are very far apart, okay, just because of the spacing on their face. So go ahead and just put in two circles, but put them farther apart than you think you really need them, okay? Now in the middle, if I look at my dog's nose, my dog's nose looks like a little rainbow on top and it kind of loops around like that and it has two little curves for his nostrils. Do you see that? Okay. Now. Those famous pug wrinkles go like this. Watch, they go over his nose. Whoop. So like a rainbow. So I'm gonna put a couple of them in there. And they grow around his eye. So notice, I'm just putting lines, that's it. And then underneath, his little mouth opens up and my pug sometimes has his tongue sticking out. So there's his little tongue, okay? And most pugs are nice and chubby. So notice what I'm doing. I'm just putting in wiggles. Do you see? And he has a famous little wrinkle up there and it goes over his head. Again, I'm not drawing any shape yet. It's just lines, right? So here is going to be the top of his head, just a wiggly line. And pugs have ears that almost look like a little triangle with rounded edges. Do you see that? So I'm just going in, putting some of those loose triangles in. And then I'm just going like this. Look, lines. Just put lines. And that will start to make the pug's face. Do you see that? And I think, you know what I'll do? I'll put another wrinkle here, another wrinkle here. And most pugs, I'm gonna get back to my colored pencils here. All right, so boys and girls, you can see if you follow some of my tips and tricks, you too, can start to draw more accurately, okay? So this is part one. I'll be back with part two and I'll share some more tips and tricks with you and we'll practice some more designs, characters, and logos together. Have a great day, boys and girls. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.